Legend has it that there once lived divine dragons on the land of Mir, who cherished and blessed the people within. Their boundless love for humans was equaled only by their boundless blessings. Much blessed as the people were, however, it gradually led to an imbalance of power, causing dark energy to haunt divine dragons themselves. To prevent the destruction of the world, the divine dragons had no choice but to go into hiding. They left behind the martial progenitors, their incarnate successors, to fight against the demons alongside humans. The martial progenitors hid and sealed the dragon relics along the dragon vein, such as the blessed septaria left by divine dragons, so that they would be found by their deserved owners one day. Soon after, they disappeared as well. As the humans gradually gained power by forming tribes and nations, so did the demons, becoming a significant threat to humankind. To fight against the demons creeping up each day and taking over the territory, the humans decided to join forces and form an alliance, Three Kingdom Army, and dispatched an Oma subjugation army to the east. But to their dismay, they were utterly defeated by an Oma ambush while heading to Bichin. With the true beginning of the Demon War, the existence of the Divine Dragon Empire was also revealed. The Divine Dragon Empire, the hidden nation, passed down only as a legendary rumor. There, countless masters and young warriors guarded the four guardian spirits, Azure Dragon, Vermilion Bird, White Tiger, and Black Tortoise. All effort was being put toward maintaining the balance and stability of the continent. However, as the ever-growing demonic energy within the Empire tainted one of the Guardian Spirits, Azure Dragon, the Divine Dragon Empire finally decided to open up the gate to the Warriors of Mir. After the devastating defeat of the Oma Subjugation Army, the Divine Dragon Empire deployed large reinforcements, marking a hard-fought victory over Oma. But the moment of respite proved to be short-lived, as a massive earthquake wrapped and collapsed the terrain, destroying the warrior's way back home. Meanwhile, the dragon veins twisted by the great earthquake were pouring forth the divine dragon's blessings, including Septaria. Some of the warriors fell into the abyss and the chaos, and unexpectedly reached a state of awakening by Septaria. This signaled the beginning of the studies on Septaria and Dragon Relics, and it was found that the Septaria grants different abilities to the blessed based on their workmanship and efforts. Ultimately, a kingdom was built centered around Bichin, and talented individuals were chosen to become warriors through Septaria's recommendation system. It was such time that strength needed to be ripened quickly. The warriors were gathered at Bichin and started to be disciplined, with the help of the Trinity Dragon Guards and the Masters from the Alliance who had been training the arts of the Blade, Tao, and Magic long since Divine Dragon Empire. For the warriors of Mir, it was the true birth of the warrior, the Taoist and the Mage. Although the growth of the warriors was a radiant beacon of hope, all could feel that a darkness even more powerful was approaching. The warriors had no way to return home, and the demon war was almost upon them. This was the cold reality 